Hello again, his nibs here, and it's uh, January 10th, 2015, and I wanted to do a follow-up video on my request for help in selecting uh, a birthday fountain pen for myself. And although uh, results are still coming in, uh, they're such a clear winner, I feel confident in announcing who that winner is. So just a brief review. We had the Schaefer Black Pearl, and this is a legacy model. Touchdown filler and inlaid nib. Second was the uh, Phil Cow Pentrace Limited Edition from 2004. And a couple unique things unique things about this was that it's a button filler. You press the button beneath the blind cap to fill. And it comes or came with uh, three nibs. So that was number two. And I have been decrowned. So I've just discovered that uh, Teresa has created this with well, Velcro, but sticky tape. I have to take her to task for this because this is much too embarrassing for my subjects and my vassals. Third uh, was the Prima in blue, although this particular one is more cream colored than blue. And this had the stub nib, which I pushed for uh, Yaffa parent company of Monteverdi and Conklin to create. And the third and newest is Conklin's uh, newest pen, the Durograph, although it's a recreation of uh, the original Durograph by Conklin many, many decades ago. And this also had the stub nib attached. Uh, Majority of my pens have uh, stub nibs. So let me start with there's a tie for what turns out to be third place. And that is the Pen Trace Limited Edition Pen and the Prima. Both of these received two votes each as the pen that I should select for my birthday. Coming in at number two is the Conklin Durograph, which received a total of four first place votes. I only have tabulated the first place votes because many people uh, gave me their list in order, but I'm only looking at first place. So I guess uh, you kind of have an inkling as to what came in first, and uh, whereas the Durograph had four, the Schaefer Black Pearl Legacy had 17. So certainly a very clear winner. And I... Uh, this is actually an M nib on here. I have Schaefer stubs that I can uh, exchange this for if I want, but I'm going to uh, ink this up with the original medium nib, give you an idea of uh, how it writes in the latter part of the video. And I want to thank everybody for their help in selecting my 2015 birthday pen. Let me start the engine on this turntable so that it's always visible. And speaking of engines, a lot of people gave me support for the Jaguar XKE, but I've yet to receive any monetary contributions 
or find one parked in my driveway. It's not too late. These don't cost that much. Well, they do cost that much, but I'll keep the uh, contribution window open for this for another 50 odd years. So the time has come to ink up the Schaefer Legacy Black Pearl, which I've been holding aside for well over a decade. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many years. Before we do that, let's see if I can show you a little closer look of the patterning of the blue pearl. So Schaefer on the front of the cap band. And of course the famous white star. I'm sorry, white dot. Schaefer again here. And USA. And let me just give you a look at the inlaid nib. Oops, knocked over the camera a bit. Now this is uh, an M, medium size nib. Most of the uh, legacies that I use are stubs. And before we fill this baby, uh, let me just tell you a little bit more about the touchdown filler, which you may not be familiar with. Here we have a dollar brand pen. And this particular one has what's called a syringe filler. filler. When you pull back on the end of the piston, a partial vacuum is created and ink is sucked up into the ink reservoir. Pushing down would, would expel air, pulling up creates a partial vacuum and fills the reservoir with ink. I won't go into all the technical details of the touchdown filler, but just to give you a brief overview of how that differs, uh, and this was a Schaefer patent, you undo the blind cap and pull out the touchdown filler barrel. And if you could visualize inside the barrel of the pen, you have a, a rubber ink sack inside, but it's tightly surrounded by a, a tube. And the tube fits within the tube of the touchdown filler. And what's, what happens basically, uh, there are some technical details I won't go into, but this is called a, also a pneumatic filler. Because as you pull this back, air is entering between the two tubes. And normally that would tend to uh, depress the sac because a partial vacuum has been created, much like the, uh, the previous pen I showed you. However, the fact that uh, there are two tubes creates or protects the sac from that action of the vacuum. What instead happens is that the air, which is now in here, when you press down on the outer tube, and you can hear that little escape of air at the end, what happens is that compresses the air, which then compresses the sac inside. 
And when it reaches the bottom of its action, it allows the, because of a series of holes, it allows the sac to begin to inflate at that point, sucking up ink. It's a little complicated and more complicated to describe, um, but it's a great system and I love these pneumatic fillers or touchdown fillers that Schaefer produced. So to ink this up, uh, again, normally you would first want to run a um, solution of a small bowl of water with two or three drops of dishwashing liquid uh, in through the pan a couple of times just to get out any uh, initial impurities. And I just discovered the battery on my iPod Touch is running down, so I'm going to take a short break and continue this with the actual filling in a couple of moments. Okay, as I believe I was saying, I would normally run, run a uh, dilute solution of dishwashing liquid through a new pan a couple of times, followed by just uh, clear water. But I'm going to take a chance with this video that uh, that's not necessary. I've already looked at the nib, made sure that it was uh, properly aligned and should be good to go right out of the chute. Keep this from rolling. Grabbed a bottle of uh, Levenger Raven Black for this Black Pearl Legacy. If I can open it. There we go. One thing I like about these uh, Levenger bottles is the little plastic insert inside, uh, which acts as a second ink reservoir. So you just turn the bottle over, that little reservoir fills, and you don't have to worry about you know, angling the bottle of ink to try and, and uh, get ink out of it as the quantity decreases. So, again, I'm going to release the pneumatic tube, place the nib and section in the ink, and let's see if I can get my hand out of the way and depress the tube. And I'm going to leave this in with it depressed for about 10 seconds. That should be sufficient to fill the pen. And then I'm going to tighten down the blind cap. Try and knock oh try not to knock over the camera. And just use a little paper towel to wipe off the excess. Cap the ink bottle. So hopefully we don't have more of a mess. And I usually uh, write with pens that are uh, unposted uh, and leave the cap aside and that's certainly something that can be done as you see with the, the size of the Schaefer Legacy. It's a, a large pen. Uh, with the cap posted it's, it's also very handsome and well balanced. It's just my preference to usually write uh, unposted. And let's see how this bad boy writes. Sometimes it's a boy, sometimes it's a girl. A 
very, very smooth. Now this is going to be a real joy to use and well worth the wait. And I think I'm going to keep this uh, medium nib. I have enough stub nibs. This is, this is lovely in and of itself. Very nice and juicy. Let me move this up so you can see a little bit of my gorgeous, gorgeous handwriting. And I wish I had my mother's handwriting, which was really very nice. So there we have the Schaefer Legacy Black Pearl Edition. Gorgeous pen and a really smooth, beautiful writer. And I want to thank all of you for uh, voting in my birthday contest. And uh, the majority made a really terrific selection. Any of the pens would have been great to use, but uh, this one is really special. As I've commented over the years when people have asked me, uh, perish the thought if you could only select one pen one fountain pen uh, to keep for the rest of your life what would it be and uh, I always try to honestly re-rack my brain but still come up with the same answer each time which is a, a Schaefer legacy to me it's just a, a really Gorgeous, well-balanced, terrific writer, or just the perfect pen for me personally. So there you have it. Thanks again. And uh, thanks for making my birthday extra special, even though no one got me the Jaguar XKE. All right, bye.